Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to day two, three, and four of our land clearing project here. I was going to break this into daily uh, vlogs, but I don't think you can really tell the progress that I'm pulling up here right now. So we're going to talk about how far we've come uh, today and yesterday, and this is actually day three, so we've got one more day of land clearing that we'll have for you here on the farm. Uh, we have made some progress, guys, so come along today. We'll talk to you a little bit about clearing our land, our big project we have going on here. It's about 22 acres. All right? Woo! First things first guys, we're going to give you a little bit of drone footage so you can see how we've progressed over time here. So the first day what we did was cut a complete circle around the property and you can probably see that as we fly over. What we decided here was to start at the bottom of the hill and start working our way up. We've got a lot of topsoil and we've got a lot of material to move, so it's going to be a challenge. There's a big challenge here for sure. So we'll keep you updated and we'll fly over uh, the first day. You'll probably see it now and then we'll transition over to the next few days. It's pretty cool. You're going to enjoy seeing the progress here and watching me spend money. It's probably going to cost us somewhere in the neighborhood of uh five to seven thousand dollars to clear this area and that's not including grass seed or any kind of finished work coming back in here and uh, dressing things up What'd you think of that drone footage? So here we are, we're about smack in the middle of the first section that we're clearing right here. And you can see we've got brush piles and I've had Frank wind rowing up brush piles. In other words, in order to control washing, because we have a huge, huge hillside right here, it's nearly a half a mile to the top where we're gonna stop. So we need to control erosion. We need to control washing and we've got to figure out a way. You see all the dirt that's still in here with the stumps. We've got to figure out a way to get the stumps out and the dirt in. Now you've seen all this equipment on the internet that can just drive right over this and chew it all up. Well, we don't have three and four and five million dollar or ten million dollar machines here at work. If we did, it would not be cost effective at all. So what we have going on here, we're in the center of about a two acre 
I'm gonna say it's about two acres, maybe an acre. And uh, Frank is working his way on the upper side of the power line right now. So we've got brush and debris, wind road up right here. And the plan is to bring in a truck, a dump truck, and scoop all this stuff up and take it to a big gully that we have on the other side of the farm and fill in that gully. So that's the plan. Then we'll push dirt over top of it. Over the years, it'll slowly rot down. That gully is not something that we need on our property. So I've mentioned every square inch of your land you need to be using. Well, we've got some gullies that need to be filled in and we're using them for stumps and debris and dirt. So that's what's going on. We're gonna get a little footage of Frank pulling stumps out. And again, guys, if this is you watching this uh, segment for the first time or watching the series for the first time, all this is cut over land. So this was forest and I marked several of the trees like this white oak right here. I marked several of the trees and you can see a few up here sporadically uh, to keep the nicest, the prettiest and the best and we cut all the rest of the garbage out. So these were kind of garbage trees. We cut timber on this area. We cut timber on about 85 to 100 acres of land and we netted about $42,000. So that tells you the grade of timber that we had here on the farm. It wasn't very good timber. However, it did provide us the money that we needed to clear. So lots of clearing projects. Pretty much everything you'll see in the drone footage that has grass on it has been cleared with the exception of the very top of this hill. So man, we've been clearing a lot of land and we've got, this is a 22-ish acre section and we got another 24 acre section. Frank will be here for a month. It's fun though. Let's go check him out and watch him work. going to start up here uh, where we've got a gully on this side of the farm too so we're going to be pushing some of this stuff off in the gully up here and then hauling the rest of it into that same gully and another gully on the other side of the farm man there's a whole lot of thought that goes into this guys so when you get ready to clear land for yourself you need to be thinking about where you're going to put the debris what kind of debris you have so if you're clearing trees you'll have plenty of stuff to burn or chip but if you're clearing stumps like what we have here it's easier to clear it takes less work it takes less time however you've got to find something to do with that and you can't burn that right away you just can't do it it's it's just like a, a sponge that's held moisture for a long long time and you can see it's a little wet as he gets in here and works
exciting to watch a loader uh, just grub up stumps. It's just not very exciting. It's exciting to watch it go through like forest, like a, I guess like a dinosaur and just tear stuff out. But this is fairly mundane. Uh, what we're gonna do here, and we'll talk about this as we go on because this is gonna be an entire project. After all this debris is gone, which is a lot of debris, we'll come in with the TR3 rake and we'll rake this out smooth and then we'll come in with the woods precision cedar and we'll drill down grass seed here. Now what we're gonna drill down is gonna be a warm season type seed. So we'll probably use pearl millet along with fescue and a little bit of annual rye grass in order to establish some grass, to get some root base, to get some forage, to get some uh, green material on this land so that it doesn't wash. And then later on in the fall, we'll come back and we'll drill in our fescue and we'll drill in our clover, our cool season grasses, and that'll really take off. That's what's up, man. So we've got one more day with Mr. Frank uh, on this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the footage and we'll see you at the end of day four. So this is day three. Three.